Oh, what's good, Stranger Bay Reacts? And episode four of Jujutsu Kaisen is out on the crunchy roll. Um, yes, it's, I don't know what's going to happen in this episode, but it's called Curse Womb Must Die. What does that mean? What? Why does the Curse Womb have to die? We're going to find out, man. Let's watch. The, let's watch episode four now. Let's do this, man. <laughs> Oh, so a window is a dude who can see curses. Is he, are they like the technicians or... Oh, okay. This dude looks so gloomy. <laughs> I'm with this guy, I'm not really following. <laughs> Where is that Gojo sensei? He's always, like, missing. He's a bit like Kakashi. <laughs> Damn. I wonder what- I wanna know what the special cases are look like. So all they have to do is just rescue the survivors. And that's it. They can't fight. While oh, this woman is trying to find her son. Damn, poor woman. All she wants is her son to be safe. Damn right you are. Hey, let's go. Episode 4, Curse Wu Must Die. Oh, do with glasses did something? What is that, dude? Yeah. It's a veil. He's an interesting guy. Oh. Oh, it's the dog. I love that dog. Kind of reminds me of the Princess Mononoke wolf. Just a little bit, but it's a bit smaller, this one. This is their first proper mission as a free um, man or woman squad. Because <laughs> the other dude was not participating. Oh shoot! <laughs> this is kind of creepy. <laughs> I love their little, like, comedic little sceneries together. <laughs> they are way too calm. Way too calm. Ooh, that ominous music. I remember what the narrator said in the previous episode, one of the students are going to die. I wonder who it's going to be. Maybe he was just pulling our legs. <laughs> Dude, that is so gory. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that's one of the prisoners is her son. <gasps> that's the son of the mother. Damn! That sucks. Oh shoot. Damn. He's got a point though. Oh? What happened to her? The doggy! Not the doggy! <laughs> that looks so weird. That's the special grade that they, the dude was talking about. Oh my god. He's flashed back into his grandfather telling him to save people no matter what. 
Oh shoot, his arm. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> that scared me a bit. <laughs> Ooh, the animation is looking slick here. Oh, he can't feel pain because he ate the devil parts. Dude, that creature looks so damn creepy. Oh, lovely design. Pure cursed energy. <laughs> He's a bit of a weirdo. Fushiguro, wake up, man! There's no time to be daydreaming, man. You gotta save the girl. It's <laughs> having fun. Damn, there's so many weird heads there. Dude, that special grade creature is just, his power is just on a whole nother level. Look, look at that! Holy moly, mate! And this is just one of them, like, damn. His hands! Dude, his hands. Dude, that must be painful. But can he not feel pain because his arm just got decapitated? He didn't scream out or anything like that. That was intense, man. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> that is kind of disgusting. <laughs> I wouldn't be satisfied either if I was in that frog. Damn. Don't doubt yourself, my dude. God, his fingers are gone. Jeez, this show is violent. I like how he's not a typical main shonen protagonist where he just kind of like goes out fighting and, you know, usually they just fight without any fear. But this guy, he's a human, like, he, he's not used to this. He was a schoolboy, you know? That, that was all he did, go to school, and now he's fighting demons. Like, of course he'd be scared, like anyone would be. Ooh! His punch wasn't enough, damn it. Oh, he's transformed now. Into Sukunanu? Sukanu is meddling. Damn that guy. Or oh, demon? I don't think he's a guy. His face. <laughs> I like how they kind of mix comedy with horror in this show. I mean, if we just had pure horror, I think people would go insane. Kasukanu is so strong. Damn, a lot of shading on that. <laughs> Well, that's that. <laughs> they defeated the special grade. Damn, she's batted up. <sighs> oh, they're both classified as special grade. So Sukarno's a special grade as well. That would explain his unbelievable strength. Dude pummeled him like it was nothing. Oh, but this demon's got some regenerational abilities. Ooh, 
Who's the voice actor for Sukarno? It sounds familiar. Please show us. I want to see. Oh, is he going to show him his true powers? Was he just playing with him? Oh, something just happened. <laughs> Interest. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's the other finger. I think that's the third one. Why doesn't he want to switch? Oh dear. And that's it. Why doesn't Itadori want to switch? I mean, he did look really sad and depressed, so I'm guessing he's just feeling insecure. Damn. That's pretty much the episode in a nutshell. Overall, best episode so far. Episode 4 is definitely 10 out of 10. Maybe 9.5 out of 10. 10 out of 10 probably. Dude, this episode was great. Like, I flipping love the, um, the team dynamics with Fugi... What's his name? Fugi something? The black haired dude and Itadori and him just kind of clashing over like trying to help this criminal um, who supposedly killed a little girl like damn you know and just have Itadori having that conflict and you know him just feeling weak and powerless you know I mean yeah I mean he is just a regular human so I'm not too sure what's gonna happen and Sukarno's reaction at the end where he was telling Itadori to get out and he was like why aren't you getting out man and then he just smiled I think Itadori doesn't want to get out and I think Sukarno is going to take advantage of the situation and wreck havoc and do bad things, man. <laughs> Yo, this was a good episode. <sighs> okay, this show is getting better and better as it's going along. But yeah, I'll do next week's episode. You know what to do. Like this video, subscribe for more anime and manga reactions. But with that said, thank you for watching. As always, Stranger Bay Reacts signing out. <laughs>